Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to thepixellab.net. This is Doran Condell, and today I'm gonna to show you a really cool plugin that came out pretty recently, and this is called Magic Puzzle by Nitro4D, my buddy Lazarus. And uh, this guy's an absolute monster at putting out these plugins. Seems like every month he's putting out a new one, and a lot of them are free, so definitely check out nitro4d.com. Lots of really great stuff. So this Magic Puzzle, um, I was first introduced uh, to this by Cineversity. They did an hour-long screencast on the Magic Puzzle. So if you want to watch that, definitely check out Cineversity.com. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to give you the poor man's version, super fast overview, so you can jump in and uh, start playing around. So go ahead and download this guy and put it in your plugins folder, and then you go to Plugins Magic Puzzle. Uh, we have a lot of options in the Magic Puzzle here. We have the width, so we can change the size of our puzzle. We have the number of pieces, so we can go ahead and change that to anything. And then we have the radius of the edges, which we can go ahead and round off. Uh, space in between is the space in between these guys, so we can kind of spread those uh, splines out a little bit. And then sub is short for subdivision for all these roundings. So if you go ahead and kick this up, you can see that our subdivision is going up. So that is that. And of course we have this random seed where we can move uh, stuff around and shift it around. Okay, so one other thing that we have is our geometry, which is gonna go ahead and basically extrude it and we can change the depth of our extrude. Um, one thing that you're gonna come across when using this guide is you're gonna want to have all these puzzle pieces fly together, right? Um, so you're gonna go to MoGraph Effector, Random Effector, and you're going to realize that the Magic Puzzle doesn't have any effector tab where you can drag that random effector into it, right? It's not a MoGraph object. Um, so what are you going to do? Uh, you could put this guy in a MoGraph fracture and do explode and connect, but when you do that, it just disappears. So that is definitely not the answer. Uh, one thing that a lot of people don't know is that you can take your random effector and put it inside the Magic Puzzle, and you could do this with any of your effectors. And when you put them inside the object nested in there, it's basically like treating it like a deformer. Uh, yeah, so then what we have to do is go to the deformer tab and change that to object. And now you can see that it jumped a little bit right there. So now it is definitely affecting it. So we can go to our parameters and we can maybe enable rotation. Let's go ahead and drag that over and let's go ahead and rotate this a little bit. And there you go. Now we're going to rotation. We can go ahead and add some fall off, like a box. And there you go. Now we can just drag this guy through our puzzle pieces, and now we'll be flying on, right? So that is that. That's how you kind of set it up so that you can animate it. It's pretty simple and self-explanatory. Go ahead and jump in there, play around, and uh, have fun. Definitely thank Nitro40 for his hard work on yet another free plugin. Thanks for checking out my site, everybody. Have a great day, and we'll talk again next time. Bye.